hi guys welcome back to join me today we are going to discuss about uh, cross resource attribute reference so which we have discussed uh, previous video same attributes and output values reference in continuation to that this is additional uh, references which we are using in this video so as we already discussed attributes are very important so an outputted attributes cannot only used for our reference that means whenever we are using an output uh, of uh, a specific attribute which is printing at output sections it is not only for our ourselves that is user reference it also can be referenced as the input for the other resources that are being created via terraform configuration so we will see how this will actually work you can see here after creating elastic ip same should white listed in security group and uh, for today's session we are having two scenarios scenario one is easy to creating ec2 mission and creating elastic ip associating elastic ip with ec2 instance while creating itself and the scenario two elastic ip creation and security group creation after creating of both resources in the within the same configuration we are making sure this security this elastic ip is whitelisted in the security group by default so without any further delay let us jump into our auto editor so already we have already resources right so in this one only here only i'll create one more file called references.tf okay and uh, where is this okay i don't know why it is not created okay let us create one more time references dot tf okay now you can see here references dot tf so already we have our resources uh, which we have created in previous uh, sessions so we'll just copy that one for quickly we can copy that one and uh, for, for this resource we are creating ec2 another resource we are going to create elastic ip for that one we need to use this uh, okay and now so if you give this one okay first let me modify this name because two terraform extensions will be there two providers will be there right so it will give us backup i will do back so backup file it will create so whenever i am executing it won't uh, come into picture so let me quickly save this one and i'll go to my shell for shell uh, command prompt then i will perform terraform plan so we'll see what is going to create you can see here two to add what is it is adding it is basically adding only two resources that is creating of my ec2 instance and as well as creating of elastic ip apart from that nothing but what is our agenda we need to create we need to create ec2 and elastic ip and we need to attach it to the created ec2 instance so for that one we need to reference our terraform uh, public document uh, elastic ip association how this will be associated you can see here how this will be associated you can copy this block here resource block and go back and come here just paste this one yes this is under our aws eap association elastic ip association so here elastic ip association and elastic ip association let it be the default name and instance id aws instance we are referencing that this instance and we need to give the local name of my ec2 instance that is my ec2 dot id what is this id actually i will show you what is this id why we are using aws ec2 after that id yeah if you go little up i will show you yes if you click on the argument reference and attributes under attributes you can see
Okay, this is for AWS instance. AWS underscore EC2 instance we need to verify actually. Let me search this one AWS underscore EC2 underscore instance. Okay, I can type the directly here. If you are not finding anything uh, in the search, just go here AWS instance. Okay, AWS underscore instance. You just click here and this one just a little bit down go to navigate down and you can see what is the basically we are uh, calling id id of our ec2 instance okay so that one i want to show you that's it so we are calling the reference attribute from the ec2 id so after creating this ec2 mission we are getting the id that id we are calling to associate so what is what we are going to allocation allocation id what is the id aws eip after that we need to give eip logical name of local name of our elastic ip and id of the elastic ip so let let me save this one again and go back here just terraform plan again then we will see what is going to happen this time you can see three to add okay let us go and apply meanwhile we will go to our aws console and we will see whether this will creating or not. this is great creating or not so i think we need to approve actually so once we approve here so we will see that one as well here if you see here 5478192243 is created that is elastic ip if you see instances this one instance is there if you click on this instance you will able to see whether that instance is having elastic ip or not let us wait for some time just refresh this and go back See three added. If you see here, Elastic IP created, instance created, and instance uh, Elastic IP association also creation completed. Let us refresh this and click on this one. You can see here for this instance, you can see this one elastic ip is associated if you observe the actual public ip that is elastic ip it is directly associated with this instance if you are direct simply creating ec2 mission it won't attach any elastic ip by default you need to create it and you need to attach that form same thing we have achieved from the terraform uh, terraform okay that this is how we need to reference any attribute to the other resources that's what we have defined here it is not only for used for the user reference but it can also act as an input to the other resource that is what we have achieved so what is the next one scenario two elastic ip and security group create so for the second for second scenario uh, we'll just add the security group uh, reference how we will create that we will get from the documentation of terraform so just copy this one and go back to your autumn editor and just paste the required things so egress and the tags are not required it is not important to create security group anyhow we will delete that one and uh, yes uh, remaining things <coughs> remaining things we will keep like this okay ipv6 also it is uh, actually not required okay ipv6 also not required now here so and uh, what else is required yeah if you just give a name to, for your security group aws sc and the same name we can give or else it is not required also aws underscore sc okay so let us verify what is ingress and egress what is the importance of 
in security group ingress and ingress so if you navigate to my AWS console if you click on any one of the security group you can see here you can see here you have a inbound rules and outbound rules inbound is nothing but ingress outbound is nothing but ingress so let us click on any one of the inbound rule and so already i have allowed uh, traffic of ssh uh, 22 port from anywhere just i want to edit the inbound just i want to showcase i want to show you just add rule same ssh also like rls http you can give no problem http i want to allow http on any specific random ip you can give 30.20.40 okay if i give this one what will happen see it is it by itself it is showing it is not a cid block security group for that reason what we need to do we need to give complete cidr range that is subnet block we need to assign cidr block so 10.20.20.40 slash 32 we need to give then only it will accept actually then only it will accept and we need to we will allow, that that will allow us to create a security group actually so that is how you need to make sure uh, whenever you are creating via terraform also okay let us navigate to automator yes if you see here and this is aws sg i have creating and this uh, vpc id also and the description also not required here let's remove this one and aws just a moment if you are referencing from uh, vpc then you can call it as aws vpc but from where we are referencing now we are referencing from aws underscore eap aws underscore eap and what is the name it is what is the name eap eap and what is the cdr block cdr block will be our id right elastic ip elastic ip we need to choose actually let us go here and we'll verify see what is the reference we need to call that is in last video we saw how to call our public ip of our elastic ip so we are calling the elastic ip so for that one what is the attribute we need to call public ip public ip we are calling so we are calling public ip and we are giving at the end slash 32 okay so let us save this one and go back go back to our command line and just do terraform plan yes i have saved this one right yeah let us see it is just refreshing the state of the yeah okay okay it is saying that invalid operand it is not okay actually this is calling both string and variable so that is the reason we it is uh, unsuitable value for the left operand okay let us go back to the atom editor and we need to use I think interpolation of terraform which we are using for previous versions okay let me give this one and uh, comment out this section here too okay let me paste this one and I will just remove this first so we need to use interpolation of terraform like this sorry use like this and you need to open this one now what will happen here now we need to give this entire one that is how we need to actually give we will give slash 32 and finally we will close the 
list so we'll call the list also okay let us save now go back try to plan just verify re-verify plan again okay list of string are required okay public IP we are calling and EIP calling and uh, yes okay we are we are not calling perfectly so This is the error we are getting because of we are not calling list we are just instead of list uh, string only we are calling list okay let us save go back and just up plan again hope it will work now let us see if we are getting any other error we will check okay so i think uh, there is no errors so let us apply this one terraform apply so we are opened the port 443 at only this ip what is this ip this elastic ip of our ec2 um, which we have associated okay say yes okay apply completed and it is successfully added as well let us verify that same thing from our console now let us go to the security groups okay we will verify what is the security group id which we have created now go to terraform state files and the resources elastic ip aws instance and aws security group what is the group id ID of this one so if you find with this you will able to get the security group go back and here just apply the filter yes you can see here this is created just go up and verify the okay you can see here now inbound rules by default 443 allowed and what is the IP this is our elastic IP how we will able to understand like in previous video we saw what is the elastic IP see 5478 192 243 is whitelisted at security group level so that is how Terraform will help us to use our attributes uh, resources which we have created reference to the other resources as well that is what we have achieved in this video i hope you understood how we will reference to the reference the attributes to other resources thank you for watching